So I hope you guys are excited and if you like treat videos give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel So you don't miss any future fun fall videos from me, and I think that's about it Let me know in the comment down below which one you like the best and um, let's go ahead and get started The first recipe we are going to be making in today's video is for pumpkin pie cookie cups So there's different variations of this but essentially it's just mini pumpkin pies Which is so cute and very delicious because personally pumpkin pie is my favorite pie let me know what yours is down below. So to begin, you are going to need a sugar cookie mix. Mine is from Betty Crocker. You're also going to need one egg and some butter, basically following the instructions on the back of the package. Combine those ingredients until it is completely mixed. Of course, you can do this by hand. I'm just using my stand mixer to save time. And then for the filling for these cookie cups, you're going to need some pumpkin pie filling. There are various recipes on the internet. I just wanted to make something that's really simple, so this is what I'm doing. I took about a quarter of the can, put that in a bowl, and then added some cinnamon just for fun. And then go ahead and stir that up, and by that time, your cookie mix should be all good and doughy, so you can move on to putting them into the cake pan, or the cupcake tray, rather. Of course, you can use a regular size muffin tray. I just wanted mine to be smaller, so that is why I'm using this tray. After that, I took a scoop of the cookie dough and placed that into the hole and just kind of molded it with my fingers to create a cup-like shape. And then just taking the filling, you can go ahead and fill it all the little cups in. And then for the extra ones, I do fill them with water before sticking them into the oven. Not sure why we do that, but I think it has something to do with like not burning the pan or something. I'm not quite sure, but I basically stuck those in the oven at 350 for about 8 to 10 minutes, keeping an eye on them till they're golden brown. When they are finished and taken out of the oven and cooled, this is what they should look like. They're so, so cute and delicious, and of course you can serve them as is, or you can add a little bit of whipped cream and some cinnamon or whatever you want to top them with, or cocoa whip, depending on your preference. I think these turned out so cute, and they do taste like sugar cookie, but with a hint of pumpkin, which I personally really like, and I think this is a good little fall treat to try. Our second recipe is something I've actually really wanted to try for a while now, and they are apple pie croissants. They're super easy to make, and you start off by making the filling with just some brown sugar. I'm personally using coconut sugar, and then some allspice or pumpkin pie spice, whatever you can get your hands on. Go ahead and combine that, and as well as that, you want to cut up an apple. Using one of these apple slices is perfect because it creates eight slices, and you have a total of eight croissants in a Pillsbury original croissant roll thing so go ahead and get that out and also have a non-stick baking tray ready to go go ahead and lay out all the dough and then you're just going to fill each of the croissants with the sugar mixture this is a little bit messy but you can do your best to get it in the lines or whatever you like but you can add as much or as little as you want and you can totally add different nuts in there too if you like that i personally don't so uh, skip that step you're also going to want to have a bowl of melted butter on the side. This is for dipping the apples in because you want to have them coated before you roll them up in the croissants. Once that's done, you can just place them in the croissant, roll it up, and then place it on the baking tray to bake accordingly. Then just go ahead and place those into the oven and bake accordingly to the instructions on your croissant package. And when they come out, they should look something like this. I personally wanted to dust them with some powdered sugar, so that is what I'm doing here. I think this is the perfect fall treat to share with your friends or your family. And so I picked up these cute little fall themed cartons at Michael's for fairly inexpensive just to place them in. And I think it's really cute. Again, they're not the most pretty dessert but they sure do taste good so this is a really good one if you guys want something that's like super doughy but also has that little bit of sweetness and sour from the apple i really enjoy these ones and again they're super minimal ingredients so they're very easy to make and very fast to make For our last recipe, I wanted to do something a little bit on the healthier side. So this is a vegan recipe, but it's basically just healthy apple crisps. So 
what you have to do is take four apples I did about three and slice those thinly and then you're gonna want to take a tablespoon of maple syrup and drizzle that over and then have a separate bowl for the topping so I did another tablespoon of maple syrup in there and then I'm adding cinnamon to both of them one tablespoon each and then for the topping you're gonna want to add a cup of rolled oats or basically any oats you have and two tablespoons of whole wheat flour The final ingredient you'll need for the topping is two tablespoons of coconut oil that is melted. I was lucky and my coconut oil was melted from being in my pantry, so I just went ahead and added that. And then you wanna combine each of the bowls separately to kinda get all the mixture good and blended, and then we can put that into a pie plate. I personally have never made pie, so I don't own a pie plate. I am using a baking, or rather a cake pan, so whatever you have will work. And you wanna just lay out all the apples on the bottom, spread them out, evenly making sure that they're all pretty well coated in the cinnamon and the maple syrup and then just go ahead and place the topping on top and spreading that out evenly as well Once the mixture is placed evenly on top, you can stick that into your oven at 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the apples are tender or however crisp you like it. Totally personal preference, but keep an eye on it because you want it to be not not too soggy the apples but this is what it should look like when you are finished and then you can just let that cool or serve it hot you could totally add some dairy free ice cream with this of course when i think of apple crisps i think of ice cream with it too but that would be really good or some like cocoa whip totally up to you but either way this is a really fast one to make and a really great dessert if you guys are looking for something sweet but a little bit on the healthier side recipe you like the best or maybe which one you're going to try out and if you do try any of these definitely send me pictures on Twitter and Instagram because I'd love to see your guys' recreations and of course you can check out my previous videos over here and subscribe to my channel here. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day! Bye!